Isn't that something? We uh, found out a couple of things here. One thing Zidane finally opened up a little bit about his past, but sort of did it in a roundabout way, telling a story about a man instead of himself. I think Dagger understood what he was doing, though. About how, and it's really the first time we've seen any sort of delving into the backstory of Zidane instead of just him being a little douchebag. Uh, I think it's a little late in the game for them to be really doing that kind of thing, but they, they finally did open his character up a little bit more. More importantly, though, the character of Vivi is having some fortunate revelation that perhaps he is on a running clock right now. This mage here seems to be under the idea that all of the black mages are, well, they have a lifespan of approximately one year. And I guess maybe that's either intentionally by their creators to ensure that anything like this were to ever happen, black mages rebel against their creators or anything like that. Eventually, it, it won't be too big of a problem because eventually they will keel over and just die instead of potentially forming some sort of opposition against them. But it doesn't really... It's really depressing to see this group of people people who are largely innocent of the crimes they've been committing and have gotten their first taste of freedom and, I mean, given how much time may have passed between when they were created and when they managed to gain the, their own sentience and broke away from Alexandria, it's, it's going to be less than a year. So they don't have very much time and they're rather naive about the concept of death and all that kind of stuff that they're eventually going to die, never really understanding what it meant for them to have been alive or anything like that. They're all just sort of living in a bit of a blissful ignorance, except for this one, one mage right here that understands these things. How he came to understand them, I don't know. He's carrying a staff, so I guess he's smarter. And he is... can't really even articulate his feelings on the subject, because doesn't know if he's sad, he doesn't know if he's afraid, he wants to, obviously wants to keep on living, but he thinks it's probably better for him to allow the other black mages to sort of live in their blissful ignorance of reality and their impending doom, rather than tell them the truth if they're capable of understanding it, and sort of potentially dooming them to be, have the same, uh, Sort of tortured existence that he does and that's uh, that's probably the saddest thing that i've seen in this game so far well, anyway uh, i've reached gotta head back to that weird ass town over there full of the crazy midgets and do that in the next episode so thanks for watching and bye